get going it's about 12 15. all right i went yesterday but i didn't have the gopro on there so i'm riding back into town today um just a water bottle the only that's a dry bag in case it starts raining and uh yeah i'm not a professional in any ways <laughs> i'm wearing sandals all right, I'm going to warn you from the beginning, this is going to be a little bouncy because, you know, I'm riding a bike, so it wiggles around a little bit. And I try to speed it up because it is obviously boring. But this is riding into Marquette, about 10 miles to downtown, so I'd say 25 miles round trip. Stop here. This is, uh, this is also Snowmobile Trail 417, but it is a North Country Trail. That fence is there just because... I guess in the summer there's this section they don't want quads on, and in the winter they open it up. And uh, yeah, so it's about 10 miles into town. And uh, we'll do that. I don't know how much of this I'll record because there's a long stretch of it. There is a long way, I think about like six miles on this gravel road, but it's well maintained. And actually, this ride in. Um, like I said, it's 10 miles to the center of town, and if you go anywhere, you know, round trip, you're doing 25 miles, but it is really pretty easy. It's very flat, only a couple small hills, and, and I would think almost anybody that can ride a bike could ride this in. It didn't take very long at all, and I enjoyed it. It was a nice ride. This part gets boring, though. Oh, it's way windier than yesterday. One. Two, one, two, one, two. That's all you do. And luckily, moving along at a pretty good clip is uh, you stay away from the mosquitoes. Actually, they haven't been as bad as I anticipated. Usually, early in the year, they're much worse. Let's change it up. But I'd still recommend wearing sunglasses. One for the sun and two, you know, for bug deflectors because they will get you. Another thing I will say about Marquette is it's really an active city. Once you know, once you get into town, you'll see there's people walking, biking, jogging. There's just so many active people in this town. It's really cool. Kind of reminded me of when I lived in Denver. I think Denver was called like the fittest city in America because everybody was out biking. They all thought they were Lance Armstrong. Everybody walking and running. It's just it's really good to see active communities. I'm just trying to provide some narration over the top of this because, you know, it's just a dude riding a bike into town. But if you get here, do it. This first section is pretty monotonous. Now, there really isn't a lot to look at when you make this ride other than the gravel, the trees, and neat clouds. But it smells great. I, I go on and on about once you get up here. I think this is the way our planet was meant to smell. Whenever I get in the North Woods, I just, I really like the smell as much as anything. But then again, I sometimes miss New York because it has an aroma that I actually like. I don't know how people describe it. Something between food and, and garbage on the street. The smell of nice restaurants and the smell of garbage. That's the smell of New York. It's wonderful. And it's just, just pedaling. It's, it's monotony. It's over and over. Just keep pedaling. But it'll get you places. It's, it's sure a lot quicker than walking. And I know this might not count as a mileage officially of hiking the North Country Trail. But for me, it's not about what's official and what's not. I'm going to try to keep track of what I've walked and what I've done. You know. So, so far on this trip up here... I think I've biked 75 miles on the North Country Trail. Now this way, if I wanted to go into Harvey, which I did yesterday, which I probably should again because I could use onions. I don't have any onions, but uh, again, just for shits and giggles, I don't think anyone watching is ever going to um, do this, but if you wanted to get into town of Harvey, there you go. But we'll stay on the North Country Trail here. See, this says IOHT 
I think that's some kind of trail. I might do some research on it. And there's a North Country Trail. And judging by the GoPro, we've been going 24 minutes. All in through here, there's going to be a bunch of houses and stuff. It's pretty neat. You can't really see it behind the trees, but there's all houses on both sides. And this snowmobile trail, I'm sure in the winter there's a lot of people using this snowmobile to go from their house to wherever. I was told, though, that you can't ride snowmobiles in the city of Marquette. I don't know if there's a bypass or something like that, but in Marquette you can't ride uh, snowmobiles, especially on city streets. <laughs> But again, there's a lot more of it coming up. I'm just, I'm just so impressed with the trail system through Marquette and this whole area. You know, trails are well marked. The only way you're going to get lost on a trail is because you're crossing paths with so many other trails. There's just everywhere you turn, there's a, there's a trail system going somewhere for either hiking, biking, snowmobiling, cross-country skiing. It's just, it's really amazing. I'm really starting to think I'm sounding like the spokesman for Marquette or something. It's just that I've I really like this area. It's it's very impressive. It's beautiful. It's the people are friendly. It's just a great place. But let's not get it overcrowded. Be careful. Okay, so this is the uh, information center. people are so friendly those big rocks over there. I said it before I'll say it again Michigan has some of the best information stops in the any state I've ever been to it's really amazing but you know it's still Michigan not a fan of everything about Michigan <laughs> I better get the same wind riding back you know a tailwind I mean now maybe I've been lucky but the times I've ridden in weren't terrible but yeah, you're going to get some wind, you know, that inland ocean, we also call Lake Superior, that big monstrosity body of water can, uh, can really kick up some wind. So that's something you have to keep in mind. But again, I didn't think it was that bad. And you see so many people do it from eight to 80. They're out there biking these trails and getting from here to there. Some are going fast. Some are taking their time and most seem to be enjoying it. I know I enjoyed it. Okay, I will admit right now, uh, trying to add narration to this is not that easy. If you look to the left through the bouncing, that's that's a big hill. And when I saw that, it made me realize, yeah, I'm glad this is staying right by the water because I wouldn't want to go up that hill. Not at all. A bunch of neat little houses coming up here. Oh, if I won the lottery. I know I'm going on and on about it, but I think if I did win the lottery, I might spend some of that money on a place up here in Marquette. I've, I've really uh, gotten Uper disease or whatever. I don't know if they have a name for it, but it's not uncommon. Everybody around here that I talk to says, yeah, it happens. People come up here and they really like it and they stay. And we're glad to have them. All right, we're going to go to this little park right here. Have a drink of water. Maybe charge the GoPro a little bit. And, uh, South Beach. It's a different South Beach. I stopped here on the beach and the Jimmy John's dude, Freaky Fast, came walking by and I said, hey, Freaky Fast. He said, yeah, sometimes, but sometimes we mess up an order. You know, you can't always hear it through the drive through so they were here fixing an order. He walked back past me and stopped, turned around and said, you want a free sandwich? It's not been opened. Freaky Fast and free. Good day. I've always been weird about food, but I took the free sandwich anyways. All right, that's a pretty good sandwich. Salami, cheese. Probably what I would have gotten other than the tomatoes, and I can pull free tomatoes off. Great and wonderful day. Darn out nice. Damn, I scarfed that down. That was a good damn sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy John's. Oh, and once I found that mount, um, it didn't fit on there right, so I just wrapped some Velcro around it. 
gave it something to grab onto, and we're good to go. $13 bike, come on now. Yeah, I think I got Uper disease. I could see myself moving up here. And then just using the RV to explore the Upper Peninsula. And then maybe probably head south when it gets too damn cold. You know, after that first winter when you're like, this is stupid. <laughs> yes, I could. So this has basically been me trying to splice together a couple different rides into town. Um, the first one, like I said, I I didn't have the GoPro, so I just stopped and talked a couple times to the camera for some reason. And uh, then this time I wanted to record the whole thing. Again, not sure why. Maybe somebody will come up here and see how easy it is that if you if you come up here and you stay far away from Marquette, there's a great system of trails if you have a bike that, you know, you don't even have to worry about your RV. You can just jump on your bike and get around town. Very simple. Just real nice. Probably the best way to get around is on the bike. Because other than you go a little bit west once you get into town, there's some hills and stuff that aren't terrible. But there are hills. But along the shore, it's nice and level. It's so level that I didn't get to coast too often, so I took it the few times I could. I just, again, it's level and flat. Just keep pedaling, you'll be fine. That was the decommissioned ore dock that's downtown. They've made it a focal point, and I, Marquette's kind of famous for the ore dock, so it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm also going to admit the $13 thrift store bike that I'm riding, it's got a little clunk to it when I pedal something in the crank, but... It's not giving me any problems, just every now and then and in a few different gears, it'll clunk. I'm not a cyclist. I'm not a bicycle repairman or anything like that, so I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but it's been working fine. Uh, I don't have any fears of it breaking down on me. And to be honest, if it were to break down, I'd probably just leave it. it you know, it was $13 at the thrift store and it pedals great. It just makes a clunk every now and then. Maybe one of these days I'll invest in an actual good bike. Maybe even an electric bike. That would be cool for when I get lazy. And at the end you'll see pictures of this again. So now I'm just going to shut up for a bit and let you just watch in silence. <laughs> See, wasn't that silence actually even better? This video, like so many of my videos, got way too long and way too redundant. So I'm going to say have a great and wonderful day. And there's going to be a part two of me going back and some sights. Maybe I'll shut up and just give you some music. When you live to be old, that's what you do. Keep moving. <laughs>